Hey traders, it's John Fortune here of this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 29th of June to the 3rd of July 2020. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and crude oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in this coming week and also for the week's head. So I hope you're having a nice weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index. Now, last week we highlighted the fact the US dollar index was in a range between the 96.60 and the 97.95. We highlighted the 96.60 as a key area of support to look for a pullback and a bounce towards the target set from last week at the 97.95. And we did pretty much get this ranging move. Now, because this was in a range last week, and you can see we've pretty much had two weeks now of correction in the dollar, the markets themselves have lacked volatility because of this, and they've just tended to drift sideways. Because of this, we didn't have a strong bias in the dollar one way or the other last week. And this continues into this week as we are still in this range. Unless we can break the 97.95, although we are showing a little bit of near term strength in the dollar, unless we can break 97.95, we have to take the dollar as being neutral. And what this means is, when we're using it as a guide, as a compass to the dollar pairs, it just simply means that we trade the dollar pairs on their own merit without a strong bias in the dollar one way or the other. So when you have a neutral dollar, and the dollar index is moving sideways or stuck in a range, we can see some currencies appreciating against the dollar, whilst other currencies may actually depreciate against the dollar as it moves sideways. So to summarize, we do go into next week once again with a neutral bias on the dollar index because of this, and it means we're going to be trading the pairs on their own merits without strong bias in the dollar one way or the other. So the next market we're going to look at is crude oil. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback in this market for further advances to the upside. We have had a nice pullback now towards the 34.23, which was highlighted in last week's video. So this is now going to be viewed going into this week as an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups in crude oil. And if we get the right kind of bullish setups in this market, if we start to see bullish reversal patterns coming into crude oil, we're going to be looking at initiated longs up towards the next gear resistance, the upside and the target set the 40.93 and if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance the upside and target two at the 43.69 so the next market we're going to look at is euro dollar now last week we highlighted the fact there had been a near-term reversal to the downside in euro dollar and we were looking for the declines to the downside after a pullback we did get a nice pullback into resistance we actually adjusted resistance up slightly because we did have quite a strong move last week but we did get a nice pullback into resistance without taking out the high so very simply put anybody who's not involved already from this from last week any further pullback once again towards the 1.13140 is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bearish setups and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 1.1147. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two at the 1.1009. So the next market we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now, last week we started the week in this area and we were looking further declines to the downside, but we highlighted the fact we needed to see a pullback first because we were quite close down towards the target of the 1.230. We did get a nice pullback and this was a great opportunity last week to start to look for further declines to the downside. We have now come quite close to achieving our target at the 1.23 from last week. So very simply put, anybody who's not involved in pound dollar to the downside from last week, any pullback in this area, is once again going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bearish setups. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set from last week at the 1.2300. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two at the 1.2076. So next market we're going to look at is US dollar yen. Now last week we were looking for further declines to the downside. We started the week in this area and we were looking for a pullback and a move down. We did get quite a steep sell off, but overall last week we pretty much just moved sideways. And this reflected what we saw in the dollar index with that range holding and the dollar index more or less just moving sideways. It went down first and then up. So very simply put, going into this week, we do still favor bearish setups in US dollar yen. You can see we have pulled back to a key area of broken support from the past, turning resistance multiple times here at the 107.210. This means going into this week, this is now a great place to start to look for bearish setups in this market. And if we get the right kind of bearish setups in this market, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 105.99. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two, the 105.01. 
So the next market we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now, last week we highlighted the fact that the Aussie dollar was still in an uptrend. It is still trending to the upside, even though we've seen some sideways moves for the last week or so. We do favor, as a result, bullish setups in this market. And last week we were looking for a breakout of this counter trend move here. The key to Aussie dollar and a trend change or a potential trend change in this market is this low here. As long as we do not break this low, we're only going to be looking for bullish setups in this market. If we break this low over here, as we mentioned last week, Aussie dollar will actually have made a near term reversal to the downside. And we will no longer hold a bullish bias on this market, but instead we will reverse our bias and we will start to look for setups to the downside. But very simply put, going into this week as we're still above this key low over in this area, any pullback in this area like we have here is going to simply be viewed once again as an opportunity to look for bullish setups in this market. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key resistance, the upside of the target set with a 0 0.7132. So the next market we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now, just as we highlighted last week, the New Zealand dollar is actually in a very similar situation to the Aussie dollar. We are still trending to the upside in this market. We're moving sideways in an upwards trend, but the uptrend is still intact. This low right here is actually the point at which this trend will reverse to the downside, at least in the near term. And this is the low which, if we break, we will actually switch our bias from bullish to bearish. As it stands, we have not broken this low, so the uptrend is still intact. And last week, we were looking for a breakout of this counter trend move. So very simply put, going into this week, we are now right in an area where if we can start to get some near term reversals in New Zealand dollar, this is going to be an area to start to look for bullish setups. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key resistance, the upside and the target set and the 0 0.6643. So the next market we're going to look at is US dollar Swiss franc. Now, last week we started the week in this area and we were looking for further declines to the downside. We did get a move down and we did start to sell off in this market. Very simply put, going into this week, we are still, the downtrend in this market is still intact. So any pullback in this area like we're getting now is simply going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bearish setups. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside and the target set. 0 0.9319. So the next market we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now last week we actually reversed to the upside in US dollar CAD and as a result we go into this week with a bullish bias on this market. What you'd like to see is any correction in this area as we always like to wait for the corrections in order to enter. Any correction in this area is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups and we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key resistance to the upside of the target set, the 1.3865. And last but not least, we have gold. Now, last week we highlighted the key of support of the 171260, which was right here. And we highlighted this as an area to start to look for a bounce to the upside in this market. We came very close to the target set from last week, having bounced from this key of support. We did have a nice rally to the upside, but we stopped short of the 1794.98, which we highlighted as a target from last week. So very simply put, going into this week, any pullback once again towards this area, preferably as always, if we can come back and retest broken resistance from the past, turning support in this case at the 173677. Any pullback in this area is going to be viewed as an opportunity to start to look for bullish setups. We're going to be looking at initiated longs up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and the target set at the 1794.98. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance, the upside and target two the 1863.23. Now you can see if we do get a break above the 1794.98, we could actually be on for a pretty big move up towards the 1863.23 as there is not really anything but air between these two levels. So something to keep an eye on going into next week in this market. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis and a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a nice weekend and I want to wish you all a fantastic trading week next week. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.